Welcome back to RuleVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got a property for you. This one is the cheapest property in Hawaii. Yeah, the whole state of Hawaii. <clears throat> and uh, let's take a look at it. It's on a street. It's got a power line. I think it's got, I think it's got a water line in this neighborhood too. And uh, other people are building in the area. They're or they're living in yurts or buses or they're getting creative. There's a farmer's market down on the side a couple of streets away. It happens once or twice a week. And uh, it's the green side of the island. It's not the volcanic side of the island. I've had properties on both sides. But this one's the green side of the island. It's really lush. It's near Pahoa and the big island. So let's jump into it and take a look at this one. It's on ruralvacantland.com. It's my website. This one doesn't have any pictures. I'm going to get that updated here pretty soon. Um, it's about a fifth of an acre. I'm asking 2999 bucks. There's GPS coordinates on here. So if you do that, it'll take you to the property on the maps. There's a buy it now. Let's make sure that's working. Yeah, $2,999. You can put your title information in there, your tax information, contact information. Click, click with a credit card, debit card, or banking account information to pay for it. And uh, I'll do the paperwork with the information that you put in here to... Uh, get it deeded into your name this is in a neighborhood it's uh it's got an hoa they've got a transfer fee I, i'll pay the transfer fee on it um but it's um you know they've got a pool and a clubhouse and that kind of stuff that goes along with it they charge uh it like 200 dollars a year i think i should have looked that up before i believe it's 200 dollars a year I mean, I've paid a bunch of fees in this neighborhood. I'm, I'm pretty darn sure it's $200 a year that they charge. And then there's regular taxes on the property, which isn't much. I mean, $100 a year or something, maybe it says in here. Um, I should get that updated too, what the taxes are. But I think the taxes are about $100 a year in this neighborhood for these lots. Yeah, so about 300 bucks a year between the neighborhood fees and the, um, the taxes to keep the property. And you got the cheapest property in Hawaii. I wanted to show you, well, let's look at where this is at on Google. The GPS pulls it up on the map, so look at it over my shoulder. It's on Ginger Road, and it looks like there's some nature over to the side of it. There's a house behind it. There's a house across the street, uh, so you can tell people are building in here. But Ginger Road, I mean, you're going to share this whole road with, like, one other person, right? So let's see if we can get street view going on. We can see street view down at the end of the street. We can look down the street. So here's a power line. Here's Ginger Road, and there's a power line going down Ginger Road. So this is basically be like your driveway going back, and you're sharing a driveway with one other house, this other house back in here. Other than that, you go back up this driveway, and that's that's you. It's just look how lush this is. you got a bunch of these trees and f ferns and all kinds of stuff going on. And, um, I mean, you can plant <laughs> pretty much anything. You can plant all kinds of stuff here. Uh... All kinds of flowers. You plant plumeria. There's probably plumeria growing wild. Um, I'd be planting hibiscus. I like hibiscus. I got a bunch of hibiscus in my yard, but they grow even better here. See, these guys got plumeria growing in the yard and just a bunch of palm trees and, and things. So it's just really lush green. I mean, you can plant uh, vegetables too, like tomatoes and gardening. This is good soil to plant stuff in. Pulled it up on another map. Well... That didn't get loaded. Let's use this map. Got it on this map. And um, so here's a map of the neighborhood. And uh, here's Ginger Road. And here's the lots. The guy behind us probably got two lots. Kind of looks like maybe the one next to us. If I remember right, this might be owned by the same person. Kumi. Kumi. Someone else. Kumi on this side. But uh, this side is, uh, yeah, That's we just had the street view from here. We're looking down this road. This is the road, so you can drive right up to it. You're basically at the end of the cul-de-sac, and there's, there's this house over here and maybe a house over here. I pulled up Zillow. I'm going to show you. This is the big island of Hawaii. And uh, I did... So we got the settings on just lots and land, not houses. But I mean, you could do the same thing with houses. And for sale, uh, yeah, just a basic for sale. Sorted price low to high. The cheapest thing on the island that's on Zillow is $3,900. And um, 
it's probably in the same neighborhood. So as we zoom in to the part of the island that we're in, this is Nanwali Estates. Four thousand bucks, so that three thousand nine hundred somewhere else, or it's not mapped very well. But four thousand bucks looks like the cheapest one in this actual neighborhood. Let's see if we can find that. I think this might be the, the our driveway right here. I don't see the where's the four thousand. Four thousand not showing up on the map. We'll look at the cheapest one. Okay, so here's the best competition. They just cut the price four thousand dollars. They just cut it in half. Um, Look how green it is. I mean, this is these are pictures from the same neighborhood. This is someone else's property. This is a four thousand dollar property. I just got a couple of generic pictures. This is the same property. It's listed twice. There's forty nine hundred dollars. Mine's two thousand nine nine nine. Mine's cheaper than everybody else by a good margin, and you don't have to pay like all the middlemen fees. You can just Put it on a credit card. You don't even have to do all the all the paperwork dance. I'll do all the paperwork for you. So just trying to show that this is the cheapest one in the neighborhood. It's the cheapest one on the island. It's the cheapest one in the state. Two thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Cheapest land in Hawaii. Ooh, that's a beautiful looking street. This looks like a lot a lot like the street that we're on. Um, I mean that's pretty cool, right? To get some good pictures of the area. You have vines growing. It's just a really lush area. It'd be fun to go build a cabin. Build a little Hawaiian style chalet. You don't have to insulate. You don't have to. <laughs> it doesn't have to be built really well. You just got to keep the rain out. Right? Because the weather's like always perfect. So there we go. Um, let's go back to the website. I'll put a link down below to take this back to my website. Ruralvacantland.com where uh, I'll try to get the maps and the pictures updated on here before you actually see this video. But I uh, just want to update because I dropped the price on this one to $2,999 and making it the cheapest one in Hawaii. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, more properties like this, please subscribe. I'll keep serving them up. The last couple of videos I did were cheapest ones in Arizona, cheapest ones in different counties and different areas, different neighborhoods. And um, I'll just keep bringing the cheapest ones and best quality ones for the different properties I get my hands on. All for sale by owner from ruralvacantland.com. Thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.